Hello friends, in this video we will be uh, discussing problem number one on types of function. Welcome back friends, now we are discussing the first problem on types of function. Here we need to prove that the function is bijective and we need to find it inverse. First of all, you need to remember a point. If a function is bijective, then only you can find its inverse. So we'll prove it. Uh, it is injective, uh, bijective. And then we'll find its inverse. So let us start. For proving that the function is bijective, two things we need to prove that the function is one to one and function is onto. Because if the function is one to one and onto both, we can conclude the function is bijective and its inverse exists. So let us start with the one to one procedure. What is the definition of one to one or injective? The definition says different elements should have different image or this is what we have learned till now. Different elements should have different image or you can say if the elements are same their image is same. That means if there is only one element or in short you can simply say one element will have one image. That's it. So let us start. First of all what we will do the procedure is fixed we will always start with this statement it is always fixed in all the problems and we will prove this therefore we will conclude function is one to one so what we did we assume that there are two different elements x1 and x2 and they are images same x1 and x2 both are different elements but their images are same which is not possible if the elements are different their image should be different so after doing few steps what we'll conclude is the elements are also same. So what the what is the statement saying? What we're doing? We are starting with there are two different elements with the same image which is not possible because if the elements are different their image should be different and we'll conclude that the elements are not different the elements are same. So that will indicate if there is only one element x1 and x2 both are same. If there is only one element there is only one image. So this is the procedure. If you understood the logic what I said well and good. If not remember the procedure we always going to do the same. Let us start. So what you are going to do. Once we are going to replace this x with x1. So this will become 2x1 plus 3. And in x we are going to replace x2. So this will become 2x2 plus 3. This will be cancelled. We will be left with 2x1 is equal to 2x2, x1 equal to x2, function is 1 to 1. Always step fix. Understood the logic? Well and good. Not remember the procedure. Let's move on and let's understand onto. Onto or surjective. Here we will always start with uh, let y is equal to 2x plus 3. We will always start with this. Because we know f of x is what? y. Or let's say y is equal to f of x. Let's start like this. y is equal to f of x. So what is f of x? f of x is 2x plus 3. After doing few steps, what you're going to do? We're going to write it down as x equal to fixed procedure. So 2x will be y minus 3. So x will be y minus 3 upon 2. So the procedure is fixed. We'll always start with y equal to and after some manipulation, we'll write it down as x equal to. Now let me write it down a technical statement. For every y belongs to b, there exists some x belongs to A. This is called for every this we have seen in the properties of relation reflexive and so on that time. And this is called there exist. And collectively they both are called quantifiers. So remember this they are called quantifiers. This is your universal quantifier. This is your existential quantifier. So let me write it down. This is your universal quantifier. And this is your existential quantifier. Now what does, uh, what do you mean by onto function? Onto function says for every base there should be A. Now, if you put y, if, see here, suppose here it is a and here it is b, elements of a, we are uh, naming it as x, element of b is y. 
Now, if we put any value of y, let's say 0, 1, 2, 3, negative value, any value, put any value of y, you will get some value of x. Let's say if you put y is equal to 1, so this will become 1 minus 3 is minus 2, minus 2 upon 2 is minus 1. So if you put y is equal to 1, you'll get x equal to 1. So this is the statement that uh, means for every y belongs to b, for every y belongs to b, there exists some x belongs to a. If you put any y, you'll get some x. Therefore, the function is on to. Is this clear? So what is the procedure? We'll start with y equal to, we'll write it on as x equal to, and after that, this is statement. Then the function is on to. Since the function is 1 to 1 and on to both, therefore, function is bijective. And since the function is bijective, inverse exists. And what is the inverse? You will start with the same statement. y is equal to f of x. So what is x? f inverse y. For inverse, again, you are going to start with the same statement. y is equal to f of x. x will be what? This f will go to that side. will become f inverse y. And simply, simply, without thinking, simply, just write it down as it is. That is your inverse. Story over. That's it. Whatever is the answer that you're getting here, just simply write it down as it is and the story over. That is your inverse. So what is the procedure of inverse? Y is equal to f of x. F will be, uh, x will be f inverse y and simply write it down this and the story is over. This is your inverse. So that is it. Done with the problem. Hope you understood. In the next video, we'll see uh, one more example of the same type. Thank you.